Saving files in Audacity is different than actually saving the output of what you've created here because maybe you want to come back and edit again later what you've created here, but you want to export maybe just a small selection from this audio. But if you want to save the entire project file that you've worked on, then you'll want to save the project. You can also save the project as and Audacity will give you this little warning. It says you're saving an Audacity project file. It creates a file that only Audacity can open, which is actually what you want. If you want it to be able to open in another program, you need to export it as a WAV file or an MP3. And I show in a different tutorial how to export as an MP3. If you want to save an Audacity project file, of course you can just save it this way and then it saves a .aup file and you can put it wherever you want on your computer like any other file. And then when you come back to this project in the future, you can actually just work on the project instead of having just the file that you created maybe from a selection in the program. So there's a difference between the project that you're working on, that creates one file, and then the audio that you export is a different kind of file. But this is how you save your project files in Audacity. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.